day class. In this video, we are going to introduce the last sound organ, the kidney. The kidneys located in the lumbus consists of two parts. One sits on the left and the other one sits on the right side of the spine. The kidney meridian connects with the urinary bladder, the orifice of the kidney uh, ears, urethral meters, external genitalia, and anus. Because the kidney sits in the lumbar region or the waist, so in Chinese medicine, we call that the waist or the lumbus is the mansion of the kidneys. There are three functions of the kidney. The kidney stores axons, dominates development and reproduction, and promotes the qi transformation. Second, the kidney governs the water. Lastly, the kidney receives qi. The kidney stores axons. Axons refers to both the innate axons and the acquired axons. As specified by the Huang Di Nei Jing, the essence is the origin of the human body. The innate essence refers to the essence from your parents, while the acquired essence is the essence from the food, attained from the digestive functions of the spleen and stomach. The innate essence is stored in the kidneys and it is nourished by the acquired essence. In a mature person, the kidney axons will be transformed into sperm, sperms or menstruation. If the storing function of the kidney is affected, for instance, the kidney qi deficiency, the kidney loses the function of storing axons. The patient may present with spermous rear or premature injection or sperm stagnation. When talking about the development and the reproduction, the axons is, the essen is essential to maintain human health. It is the fu fundamental systems of life activities and reproductive. The axons is stored in the kidney and is transformed into kidney qi. The condition of the kidney qi will rely on the condition of the kidney axons. According to Huang Di Nei Jing, in female, the, the kidney axons or the kidney qi is transformed according to the, the cycle of seven, at the age of seven, and then at the age of 14, at the age of 21, at the age of 28. There are some, change, some changes in each cycle, for example, at the age of seven, the teeth start to, to grow or to, to be replaced. At the age of 14, two sevens. At the age of 14, the menstruation start to, to come. Until at the age of 49, seven by seven, 49, the menstruation start to stop. So from this point of view, you also can see from the Phenomena of the female physiology. The menstruation of most ladies will stop around the age of 50. So, this is aligned with the description in Huang Di Nei Jing. For the male, the cycle is according to the age of eight. At the age of eight, the, the boys start to replace their teeth. At the age of 16, at the age of 24, and then till the age of 64. At the age of 64, we describe in Huang Di Nei Jing that the teeth start to fall. So this can represent that the kidney axons start to reduce. The Huang Di Nei Jing describe the human development through the development of the teeth bones and the hairs. This is because that the bones, the teeth and the hairs are linked to the kidney. From this point of view, if the patient suffers from kidney axons deficiency, 
or the kidney qi deficiency. For some diseases related to the de development and re reproduction, we, we will focus on the treatments towards the kidney. Promoting the qi transformation. The qi transformation in the whole body relies on the kidney essence, especially when talking about the transformation of a qi. The kidney axons transforms into the kidney qi, and this kidney qi is further divided into kidney yin and kidney yang. The kidney yin and kidney yang are the foundation of the yin and yang in the body. In other words, they are considered as the most original yin and yang of the body. Therefore, the condition of the kidney yin and yang will not only affect the condition of the kidney, but also the whole body. On the other hand, the disease of the other organs may also affect the kidney, especially after long-term diseases. The kidney is another important sound organ in this system. The other one is the spleen because that's the, where the acquired qi comes from. The kidney is where the innate qi or innate essence stores. So once innate, once acquired, once the kidney and the spleen. The kidney governs the water. This mainly refers to the water metabolism, including the urine and urination. The kidney qi, kidney yin and kidney yang can promote the water metabolism, especially promoting the spleen and lung qi. The water in from the stomach, small intestine and large intestine will be absorbed by the body and this water needs to be trans transported outwards or downwards. This will rely on the function of spleen qi as described previously. The spleen, spleen qi can divide the, the water, the clear water, and transport the clear water outwards to the lung. The lung will disperse this water into to all over the body and the superficial skin. This will result, result into sweat and the nourishment of the body. The cloudy part of the water will be transported downwards to the kidney or bladder. With the, fun with the assistance of the kidney, especially the kidney qi, this water, this cloudy water, will be further divided into clear and cloudy water. The clear water will be transported again back to the spleen and back to the lung. The water, the, the body can reuse the, the water. And then the, the last cloudy water will be transported to the bladder. This is, is, is as, as the form of the urine. As you can see from here, this process, the water metabolism, is the combination of different organs. These organs include the lung, the spleen, the kidney, stomach, large intestine, small intestine, sanjiao, and bladder. In this process of qi transform transformation of in different organs, the kidney qi and kidney yin and yang are the most essential parts in all these processes. Therefore, we say that the kidney governs the water. Because the kidney qi and kidney yang, kidney yin, are the innate kidney, kidney essence, the innate kidney yin and kidney yang. So we also say that the kidney yin and kidney yang are the roots of the body yin and yang. All other yin and yang in other organs are based on the kidney yin and yang. The heaving qi is another function of the kidney. It refers to the fat. Thus, in order to have a proper breathing, the kidney 
needs to receive qi from the lung. If the, kidney don't, the kidneys don't receive qi from the lung, the patient will present with shallow breathing, short of breath, or ta tachynia. This is also a part of the storing function. From this perspective, from the storing perspective, in this situation, the kidney stores the qi. When we understand that the kidney can receive the qi from the lung in order to perform the proper breathing, if a patient presents with kidney deficiency, he or she may present as shallow breathing or tachynia. The chronic diseases may affect the kidney, they may affect the kidney and the kidney function in the end. As discussed previously, one of the reasons is because that the kidney qi, the kidney yin and kidney yang, is related to the other organs. The final phase of many diseases, the patient may present as tachynia. Similar thoughts may appear in clinic from the con conventional medicine, such as many severe diseases or severe medical conditions will result in heart failure or kidney failure in the end, which may present as tachynia or edema. When we see the patient present with tachynia or edema, then we need to think about from Chinese medicine, that's the water, the edema, the tachynia receiving qi. So when you see tachynia, when you see shadows breathing, Difficulty breathing, don't only think about the lung, we, only, we also need to think about the kidney. In other situations, such as the asthma, in the treatment of the asthma, the patient always have shattered breathing. In this situation, our treatments will focus on the lung, we also will focus on the kidney. We try to recover the receiving qi, the receiving function of the qi. These are the three main functions of the kidney. From these discussions, the kidney, the storing function of the kidney is very important. Storing axons, storing the qi. This storing function also can present as the, the control of urination and stool. So if the, the storing function is affected, the patient may present as loss of control of urination and stool. The kidney yang is also considered as the fire. So previously, when we studied the fire elements, it says the when we we put the fire elements on your fingers, there are two fingers represented as the fire. At that time, I said that we got two fires in the body, the heart fire, and now here we we introduce the kidney fire. The heart fire is considered as the emperor, emperor, imperial fire. The kidney fire is considered as the mineral, minister, minister, the minister fire. And this fire has a very close relationship with the kidney in, in order to perform a proper kidney function. The kidney yang or the minister fire, kidney yang and kidney in need to be balanced. Also because of the storing function, this kidney fire should store within the kidney. If we got excess kidney fire, this is also due to one of the reasons is due to the kidney indeficiency. The patient may present with the uh, dysfunction of these three aspects. For example, the edema, the tachynia, or short of breath, or the storing function of the axons. Specifically, the, in male, the patient may present as spermatorrhea, premature ejection, or in female, the irregular menstruation. Here is the emotion of the kidney. As we can see from the phenomena, if someone is in a condition of a fear, especially extreme fear, he or she may present as lost control of urination and stool. The reason is because the fear is, is related to the kidney and the 
meters and anus are the orifice of the kidney. So the dysfunction of the kidney may present in urination and stool. As the ears, external genitalium and anus are the orifice of the kidney. So if the patient suffer from a kidney deficiency or anything related to kidney, the patient may present with something, some problems related to these organs, such as tinnitus, the noise in the ears. In male, the male's problem, the female's problem, infertin infertinities, anything related to the sperms, anything related to the to, to the maturation, or even something related to the stool. This stool, especially the diarrhea, the, in future we will introduce diarrhea in the in early morning at dawn. This kind of diarrhea is related to the kidney, especially the kidney yang deficiency. Another very common phenomenon that we can see in in our, in our daily life is the senior people. The senior people, they lost the, the hearing gradually. So their hearing is, is not that sensitive. One of the reasons is because the kidney deficiency. The kidney, as we mentioned previously, the kidney axons, the kidney yin, kidney qi, and kidney yang, these aspects in the kidney are the innate axons are the roots of the human body. As we grow older and older, these axons keep reducing. So in, in the senior patients or the in senior people, the hearing, something related to, to the ear, they lost the hearing gradually. Bones are the body constituents of the kidney and hairs. The bones, for example, if someone suffers from kidney deficiency, they will grow slower. It's related to the bones. Or if someone they got fracture easily. In the treatment of patients suffer from low calcium density in the bones, in Chinese medicine, we still focus on the kidney. As the bones are related to the kidney, the body constituents of the kidney. The spittle, as we mentioned previously, this one is very similar term to the saliva. However, the reason why we use different terms to refer to the saliva because the saliva here refers to the thicker parts of the saliva. The difference is, is the, the clear part of the saliva is from the spleen and it is very easy to be drooling, so the patient may present as drooling, and the thicker part of the saliva, we says the this body fluid is from the kidney, and this is many from the the bottom of the tongue, and in this situation, the patient will have excess saliva in the body in the mouth, and the patient need to split out. So one is drooling, the other one is spitting. The kidney corresponds to the winter. This corresponding to winter also can reflect in the kidney function of storing. In winter, everything slows down. For example, the trees, the plants, they store the energies back to the root. The kidney, this is similar to the kidney function. The kidneys stores the axons within the kidney. This essence is essential for the for human health. In some situation, if the patient suffer from the yang deficiency, these diseases may be worse during the winter, such as the heart diseases, lung diseases, the stomach diseases, that belongs to the yang deficiency. In this video, we have discussed the kidney functions. One of the key aspects is the storing. This is opposite to the liver function, the qi flow. While one is storing, the other one is moving. 
Again, this is from the yin and yang theory. As discussed previously, the zhang fu theory is based on the five zhang organs. After studying all five organs, all five zhang organs, it is very important to understand the physiology of the human body from the Chinese medicine point of view. For example, the formation of the blood, how many organs have involved in this process, and how the how different organs help each other in the process of formating the blood. The breathing, how many organs have involved in this process? Only if you understand these physiologies of these process in the clinic practice, in the clinical practice, you will be able to analyze the, the diseases. In the next video, we are going to study the full organs. Thank you for your attention.